Hello there and welcome back. Let's grab a coffee and create ourselves a landing page. So if you are uh, hosting some services online which are provided by your own infrastructure, so for example, running on a Raspberry Pi or a server inside your local network, then usually you have like a way to direct this traffic to from your ISP through your router to the end device which is going to serve this request. And uh, I have a couple of services that I want to expose so I don't have to remember the port. So for example, I have the Reaper Pi, uh, is a SCOM and 8080 is going to be the Pi Dio. And this is basically running on my Raspberry Pi 5. And it allows me to share some files and so on. So <clears throat> basically, I have my own file share service. And I want to create a homepage for this. So I was looking around and playing with the coolify.io. And amongst the apps that you can run containerized on this platform, even if it's self-hosted, is the get home page or yeah, get home page. And basically I want to show you how you can set it up in a Docker Compose fashion and how we can configure it. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, I have my uh, CentOS 9 machine and I have installed Docker and Docker Compose. And this is accessible to my own user. So what I want to do is to basically create a directory under the opt and get home page. And I can do it with sudo. And what I also want to do is to change owner. And I say reaper pi, reaper pi. And I specify dash r. So it's recursive. And I use the opt homepage. Opt get homepage. Cool. So now what I plan to do is to navigate to this directory and I create a subdirectory called compose. And inside the compose directory, I create my docker compose.yml file. No, not YAMLA, but rather YAML. And we can go ahead and create our compose file. So we are going to use the version of 3.3 .3 and the services are going to be as follows. So the home page and we are going to use an image ghcr.io slash get home page home page and latest and we want to name this container as home page and we want to expose ports so <clears throat> this is going to be different from the production setup that I do but for demonstration sake I want to use the 8089 mapped to the port 3000 and here comes the fun part so we need to have a couple of volumes mapped. And I say that under the ops get home page, we will have an icons folder, which is mapped to the app public icons. And under the opt get home page uh, config we will have mapped under the app.config. And we are also going to have the war run 
Docker sock mapped to the war run docker.sock. So this is the Docker integration mapping. And once this is done, I need to make sure that this directory is present or directory tree. So mkdir on the first, mkdir on the second. And now what I can do is to use the docker compose app. And once the image is pulled, I should be able to, uh, yeah, it's now listening on the appropriate port. So if I go to the HTTP, CentOS 9, 8089, I will be able to reach my service page. So <coughs> from now on, uh, all we have to do is customize what we see here. And uh, this is where the volume mapping comes into picture. So let's go ahead and search for a cat image. <laughs> so cat PNG. Ah, uh, this is the cutest one. And I am going to use the copy image address. And here I'm going to stop the container. And uh, sorry, <coughs> here we have the following uh, folder structure. So sudo tree. And basically under the icons, I can use the wget command to get this image of the cat. So sudo yum install wget. <coughs> and then download the cat image. So uh, let's move png tree to cat.png. And now we have the under the tree, the config folder. And basically here under the services, we can define what we see on our home page here. So let's open up this file and use the config and uh, <coughs> services.yaml. So now let's go ahead and, oh, it's a read-only file. So sudo vi and here I am going to go and say icons, or icon, slash icon, slash cat.png. And now if I start up my compose, so navigate to the compose folder and docker compose up, we should be able to navigate back here and Basically, we should be able to see this icon. <laughs> so what is it? Icons, icons, vi com docker compose .yaml. This is mapping to the icons. And <coughs> if we go and edit the services.yaml dot dot forward slash and check the documentation which is also an important part so here on the get homepage.dev if you go under the services and scroll down you can see that this would be the icon and here this is going to mount to the public icons and reference it as icons that my icon so here this should be icons as plural now let's run it so here if we refresh the page you can see that our image has arrived so this is just one way to uh, customize it and what I want to show you is how you can, for example, set up the PyDio. <coughs> so PyDio 
PNG and let's pick one copy image address and here I want to go to the icons and use the wget to download this image but that will not be a PNG file why am I not getting the the PNG copy image address ah that's one so wget sales logo and let's move it to pi uh, cells move to pi dio dot png and in the services file we are going to create a new group which is going to be file sharing and i am going to say that this is called pi dio and the reference is going to be the following. So here we have this URL and I only need the port here. So basically this is what I would pay, paste and by dio file sharing service. And I am going to add the icon and this will come from icons and pydio.png and now if we go to the compose directory and use the docker compose app we should be able to go back to our home page and as you can see the redirect is not working why is it not working? So PyDio cells. Ho ho! <laughs> Something is wrong with my Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> so sudo systemctl status PyDio. Hmm. By dio bin cells and sudo system ctl status by dio cells or cells. Ah, it's working. So, why is it not running? Let's check the firewall. So, this would be it and here we have the dns and we have the port forwarding in place and if we go to the traffic we should be able to reach it however oh registration was successful ah it's working so basically there was a problem with this Asus DDNS, but if I refresh it and click on PyDio, it will redirect me to this service. And we have the search bar that we can customize, so it's going to redirect us to DuckDuckGo, or we have these bookmarks. So technically, if I go ahead and stop it, and I did the config bookmarks then you can see this is the I these are the items that I can edit so my plan is to create a nice uh, landing page and it should be able to direct us to my own portfolio so I have a Mastodon account a GitHub account a YouTube channel as you already know so <clears throat> basically this would be the idea and that was all i wanted to show you thank you for joining me see you in the next one